The Moon's Tooth by Matt Moser Clark and George O'Shaughnessy. Read by Wayne Forrester. For Elias. In all the worlds and by all the seas, under all the skies, surrounded by winds and trees, the question of why the moon looks so surprised was often met with bewildered eyes. He's an old man now, so many said, who likes to sleep in his midnight bed, with dreams of games like hide-and-seek in secret places behind mountain peaks. You see, dear child, that in his youth, he, like so many, had lost his tooth. He looked in rivers and under rocks, behind his bed and in his socks. He asked the stars to help him search, looking down from above up where they perch. They smiled and giggled as they knew the truth, saying, Look down, dear friend, to see your tooth. You see, in all the searching he hadn't seen that this earth whereon was shiny and clean. Its roots are deep, its caps are white, its slopes are steep with a crowning light. His surprised expression comes simply from Finding his tooth is this planet whereon. He watches and looks as you hide and seek Behind the curtains and mountain peaks. He's given his tooth to you, dear one, So you may play until night-time comes. Then sleep you must, like our dear friend Moon, and dream of stars in their midnight lagoon. For tomorrow there will be more to play, at hide and seek, and night as day. The question of why the moon looks so surprised was often met with bewildered eyes. <laughs>